Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. We're back. It's 12 after the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Thanks for being part of my day. I'm Jim Blassingame, and you're listening to the Small Business Advocate Show, and I'm glad you're here. Christian Arnold is here, too, ladies and gentlemen. She's a great member of our Brain Trust. In fact, this is her 11th anniversary. We're going to celebrate her 11th anniversary as a member of our Brain Trust. She's the founder of Quality Process Consultants, Inc. She's the author of a number of books, including her new book, Boring to Bravo, and uh, she's our team building expert, Christian Arnold. Welcome back, and happy anniversary, baby. Thanks, Jim. Happy anniversary back to you, buddy. Yeah, how about oh. that? <laughs> Eleven years. Oh, man. You and I have been together longer than you and Joe have been together. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Christian, um, today, before we could talk about team building, today is International Women's Day. Did you know that? It is, isn't it? Yeah. I did not know that. So what do you think I, I about what do you think about International Women's Day? What do you mean what do I think about it? I mean you it? think it's a good thing? Let's just think about it. Do you think it's a good thing? I mean is that is it as a woman, is that is it does it make you happy that there's a day for for you? Uh does it make me happy? Uh, you know, frankly, I'm not sure it makes me happy or unhappy. Yeah. Um, I think it makes me sad that we have to have an International Women's Day to point out the fact that women are still not treated uh, with respect Is and it? dignity and equality throughout the world. Throughout the world. Thank you for, for qualifying that. Because you know I treat you with the utmost respect and dignity. Absolutely. Unless, except for what I'm about to say. Okay. Why isn't there, and, and folks, wait for it, why isn't there an International Man's Day? Wait for it. Go ahead. Because there isn't a group of men who wanted to make that happen. Oh, I, th- I thought you were going to say every, ma- every day is Man's Day. Oh, no. <laughs> All the other women I know, that's, that's what they would have said first. Oh, well, I guess maybe I'm just a little different. But, you know, and I've heard that before. It's yeah. like, well, why isn't there a men's Day? <laughs> a men's club or this that and it's like well organize it you know just because there's a we couldn't get uh, away with I mean, it there, though we couldn't get away there with is it an business. organization for anything if somebody has the interest and passion to put it together I, so I, I agree with you anyway well I, I just want to get your perspective on that and i like what you said about that the the uh and that's one of the things that america has stood for you know that's one of the things america has done in 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 uh in afghanistan for example and uh, that's one of the. If we don't win in Afghanistan, if we if we had to pull out there out of there with our with our tail between our legs, so to speak, the women will be the, the the loser there in that. So hopefully, yeah. hopefully that won't work. Christian, let's talk about team building. What what do we need to know about team building? You guys, I know that you got a big event coming up where you you and and uh, and uh, Pamela Jed are, are working on a, pr- a project to help people make sure that when they when they work with their teams that uh, that they, that they get the most out of it. How do where do we start? Yeah, we're doing a full webinar on March 15th about the words you choose and the words to lose that inspire um, and improve your teamwork and improve collaboration and employee engagement and boost productivity. So I I literally, there's a a team building vocabulary. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think so. I I mean, I I think what happens is is that we uh, loose lips, sink ships kind of thing. Right. Um, Sometimes when we don't, really think through what we're saying as leaders, we're actually sabotaging our own effectiveness when you could easily choose a different way of saying the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. Here's an example. What's a word or a phrase that would be negative to team building? Well, um, for example, not that you would do this, Jim, not that any <laughs> of your listeners would do this, when you're talking to your your folks or you're talking with your teammates and you say, don't do that. Ah. Don't do that. You know, it's like, it's an instinctive thing, you know, like, don't do that anymore. 
don't do that anymore, or mm-hmm. you shouldn't have done that, mm-hmm. or, you know, it, the, the don't, and what Pamela and I say is we say ditch the don't. Mm-hmm. There really is no reason to speak in the negative. You could just as easily speak in the positive, phrase it in the positive, like, uh, please remember to do this next time. Right. My favorite term for that, for that that I've that I've learned, and I try to do as much as I can, as much as I, you know, me being the imperfect person that I am, is I, I try to say, "What did we learn?" Mm-hmm. What, once I, you know, once I point out that what they did, you know, was a mistake that it, it it may cost us money, it may have cost us a customer, it may have cost us time, whatever it may have hap- what may have happened that was not that was unfortunate. You know, the, to, to me, the greatest redeeming thing you can say to an employee, to a team member, is what did we learn? What do you think? Right, right. I mean, but what you're doing is you're trying to phrase it in the positive so that they can hear it and that they can acknowledge mm-hmm. it and you can do something about it. Mm-hmm. As soon as you say don't, it conjures up all kinds of images for different people. And, like and a parent. Think, think about the, exactly. Think about the, the time when your parents Green, don't. Now, maybe it was for good reason. You were putting your hand on the stove or something. Yeah. But nobody likes being felt like a child. And unless you are literally putting your hand on the stove as an employee, which most of us are not doing, mm-hmm. you know, there's no reason to scream at people and say, don't. I mean, not that you're screaming at people, right. but, it, right. you know, it's the, it's the, um, and maybe you are, but uh, well, th- not only- whenever you say that word. When when you use these kinds of words, the the proper words, the the the, the team building vocabulary, I, I'd like to say it that way. When you use these things, two, I think two th- at least two things happen. Number one is they they learn better, they 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 get it, mm-hmm. the, the the retention is is better. But the other thing is, is you look like a leader, not a not a not a, a boss, right? And and they, and, not a- and people want to follow leaders; they don't want to follow bosses, right? And they don't want to. They don't want to be treated like children. Mm-hmm. You know. So. Right. Uh, so think, and, and and that goes to just about anything. In that when you when you deal with the negative side, when you tell people mm-hmm. what you don't want them to do, it actually, from a neurological perspective, it actually subliminally tells them that that's what you want them to do. <laughs> Or, or it tells them that that's what they want to do in spite of you. Uh, give us, well, a, web, give well, us a website. Well, the brain can't differentiate. What's the website? Tell us how we can find the event on the 15th. www.extraordinaryteam.com. Extraordinaryteam.com. Folks, check out that web that uh, webinar on the 15th. There's a lot of stuff there. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. 20 after, right back. More to come with Christian Arnold after these messages. Stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience, except as otherwise provided by copyright law. All other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.